Are you ready, bud? <clears throat> Robert. Come buddy. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our first ever 2-Bit Circus Foundation live stream. I am Michael. And my name is Robert. Today we have an awesome project schedule for you. What are we going to be doing today, Robert? A Rube Goldberg machine. Awesome, a Rube Goldberg machine. And what is a Rube Goldberg machine, Robert? It's a machine that you only can touch once and it does stuff for you. Right, so we can only touch the machine once. And what are we going to do with our machine today? Make a banner fall down. Yes, we have an awesome project where we're going to make a banner fall down today. So we've already got started on our machine. We're going to do a little bit of setup, and then we'll bring you back close so you can take a look at it. And uh, then you'll see us finish up with the machine, and hopefully the banner drops. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Dominoes keep falling, but no. uh -oh. so while while we're setting up here. I want to I want to share with you what we have. We're going to start the machine launching over here from my kitchen cabinets and we're going to launch this little Lego figure down a zip line. I hope you guys can see the 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 string on there. And then we're going to hit a marble at this point. All right, so stay tuned. We're finishing setting this up and we'll be right back. How are you doing over there, Robert?
Sorry, I don't know how to begin anymore. Awesome. I already see some of you saying that you want to try this at home. We would love for you to go ahead and try this at home and uh, upload your videos and pictures to the social media so you could share it with all of us. That would be awesome. You got your gun loaded, Art? No. We are. We're going to be talking and moving back and forth as we're working in real time. Right now, Robert's going to show you what he's going to be doing at the beginning here, and uh, then what he's working on right now over here with the dominoes. Robert, come on over here, bud. All right, Robert, why don't you tell us what's going to happen here at the beginning of the Rube Goldberg machine? That's good. Do you want to show them the beginning and see if it's working? All right, let's head on over here. All right, take a good aim shot. Oh, all right, let's try it again. That was a good shot, though. You hit it. Now it goes. <laughs> All right, let us set this back up here. Give us one second. All right, round two. Let's see if we could do this right this time. Awesome. So I think the first part of our, our Rube Goldberg is a success. We're going to continue working on part two right now. So give us some time. And then later we got to move on over here to part three. And then we're going to drop the banner that is hanging up right here. <clears throat> Brent, the phone is sideways. I don't, are you guys okay on that live stream over there? Awesome, thank you. Domino set up, Robert? Mm hmm Awesome. That's what I like. 
to see. Do we have another marble? Oh, found one. <clears throat> hey, Robert, is this section over here ready to go? Is this section over here ready to go? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you use a different Nerf gun? Yeah, go get a different Nerf gun to use. A better one, like the big one? Yeah. The ultra blaster? That one's fine. Yay, ultra blaster! All right, so I'm going to move the camera to a different position right now. Over here, we're, we're starting our setup for the second part of the Rube Goldberg. And as you can see, the whole family gets involved here. My dog is Ooh. enjoying this as well. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah. Try to see if this is gonna work. You want to try to see if it's gonna work from the beginning? All right, let's go ahead and try to do that. Okay, I have all my Okay, we're gonna to try to go ahead and start from the beginning all the way up to this point where we're gonna be having uh, homemade dominoes here falling down. So Robert, explain what's gonna happen here with the dominoes. What's gonna make them fall? Robert? What's gonna make those dominoes fall? What's this? What's the car gonna do here? Pull the dominoes? Yep, yeah, so the, the car is gonna move, it's gonna be pulled, and it's gonna hit the dominoes. Alright, do you have your Nerf gun ready to go? Let's get that ready. <clears throat> ready? Yeah, definitely, Elliot. Thank you for pointing that out. This project is awesome because you could use anything around your house. You don't need any special materials, really. Uh, you see we're using a lot of toys. We have Legos. We have some 2-bit Circus Foundation materials here that, that we are using. So anything, uh, cardboard, anything works. All right, Robert, you ready to go? <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn this camera around so we can see Robert and his launch. Oof. Take another shot.
All right, just put one in there right now for us so we could try it, okay? While Robert's getting this, uh, this gun ready to launch to begin the Rube Goldberg, we haven't introduced uh, my wife and a wonderful middle school teacher, Malin. She's hiding in the background there. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and uh, I am a, a former classroom teacher. I uh, taught high school for eight years and I uh, am now working at Two Bit Circus Foundation, creating projects for all of us to enjoy. All right, Robert, you ready to go? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if this is going to work. Oh, all right, I'm going to hit it this time just so we could see you go. Oh, we missed the bucket. So let's just keep testing right now. Oh, we missed that bucket. All right, and nothing happened here. So we're making good progress here. Let's go uh, fix up the buckets and see what we can do next on it. So why do we think it's not working right now? So what happened was the marble just bounced out of the bucket and the bucket didn't really fall with enough force. Um, so when it was pushed, it was lightly pushed. So maybe that could be something we need to work on. Having it fall faster, that way it has more force pulling on that string. Awesome, so we're gonna fix that right now, huh? Hey Johnny, wanna say hi to the camera? No, this is my nephew. He's a little shy. He doesn't want to play today. You could join us if you want. Do you want to come help? It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Come on, Johnny. It's been really fun so far. So maybe do you think there's not enough tension on this line? Or? Yeah. You're going to see something cool at the beginning. I'm going to shoot. Back here. I was thinking three. Do you think it'll work on your appliance? 
Because I was thinking they needed like three legs. What do you think? What do you think about this, Robert? Do you think it's going to work? Can you get me that, Mitch? That right against the dominoes. You, you need to have it like really tight already. It's like just about to move. Yes, sir. Okay, don't touch the button. Can you come help us over here? We need some ideas. We're stuck. I'm going to ask the audience. So we're over here, and we're facing a little bit of a challenge right now. We are trying to find a way to create more tension on this line, so that way we could get our car to move. Where is that car? down here on the floor, when that bucket drops. Anybody have any ideas out there for us? If you have any ideas to help us uh, solve this, uh, share them with us so we can uh, Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Slightly shorter string is one idea. Uh, more weight in the bucket. Longer distances to the drop. That's what I think. I think the bucket elevation is not high enough. That's a good idea. Okay, so we tried the, the more weight idea. Nothing on the string. More tension in the string. Okay. Still nothing. All right. What are some other ideas out there? It is the uh, offset of the bucket pulling the string, then more weight should give it more force. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe, what if we re redesign this a little bit? So this was pulling a trigger, and then the car was dropped from up there. You wanna try that? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get some cardboard here. Right in front of me. Uh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so what I'm thinking right now is having that string that was attached to the bucket pull some sort of uh, lever or stop mechanism. Like yeah. So I'm thinking about putting the car, see if that string is still tied there, but the car on the ramp and then something holding it to stop it from going down the ramp. And then as soon as that, that object, whatever it may be, is removed, then the car can go down the ramp and then be able to knock down the dominoes. See, it kind of works coming back. <laughs> so, so that's what we're, we're, we're thinking here right now. Uh, Maylon asked us what, what ideas we could come up with to, to stop that. Uh, I was thinking something like a pencil. Just cutting a hole here in the cardboard and putting a pencil through there and then tying the, the string uh, to the pencil. So when the string is pulled, the pencil is removed. So let's try that out. You mind if I cut this? What is that? The end tape. Oh, no, I don't mind. So our idea right here is working to hold the car up. We have a pencil that we push through the bottom as a, a little lever that's holding the car. So now we just need to figure out the trigger mechanism that is gonna pull that car to allow the car to roll down the ramp. All right, let's see what we can do. Robert, 
question. No, it's not. That lock's not holding. Oh, yeah. You want it to like it's actually pulling it back. I want it to. Try to try to Any ideas, anyone? That is correct. So the pencil on the string is holding the car up. When you release the string and pull the pencil out, the car is going to fall under its uh, gravitational potential. So the, the car is just rolling down the ramp. We're just trying to get the mechanism to release the car working. So it's all going back to that previous station where we're having trouble, and that's with the bucket. I think it's something with the tension in the string and uh, the height of the bucket, which is not allowing us to get enough movement in uh, the system to remove the pencil. Any ideas?
trying to find a way to drop the trigger really easily. So real quick, we finally got the, the, pen, the pencil to release, uh, just with a little bit more tension on there. And then as somebody mentioned, we increased the height slightly. That with the tension allows the, the string to be pulled and the pencil to be pulled out. So we're gonna set that up. We're gonna do another dry run and see if it works. We had a question about the dominoes. What are they, they made out of? <clears throat> well, these dominoes right here that we're using are actually spools that we have at the 2-Bit Circus Foundation warehouse that uh, come in real in handy for a lot of different things. So that, that, that's one type of domino that we're using. And then the other that we have over here are, are made by Robert. He made these dominoes out of Soho bricks, which are a Lego style brick. And then we also made our wonderful two bit logo out of those bricks as well. So bricks come in handy. All right, let's go ahead and try to set this up and uh, see what happens. Marble, but we need a bigger one for that. 
Robert, do you know where the other big marble is? All right, everybody, we're going to go ahead and give this a shot from the beginning. Wait, Robert, wait till I get the camera flipped around and let's see how far we can get. All right, Robert, when you're ready. Did you load one? Yeah. It didn't come out. It's stuck in there. Can you help him out? You got one more? All right, let's see. Stand a little closer if you need. There we are. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try again because we had a uh, stick here. It hit the box instead of hitting the marble. So let's set that up really quickly. You hold the camera? Thank you. Where's the top there? Are you ready, Robert? Again? I always do that and then it hits. Can you measure the bucket on the corner there? Did I do what? Okay. 
What did you say about the bucket? I think everything else is ready to go. This bucket. I think it's ready. You think so? I think so. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm gonna just release it from here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try to um, set this up again. We're gonna try to run through it one more time. We, we, have, out. we have about 10 more minutes for our feed. I think we could get this done in the next 10 minutes. So we're gonna try to hook up that banner now to the, the domino area. And, and let's see if we can finish this machine. All right, give us a second.
So while we're getting the finishing touches on the machine, and uh, hopefully we could have a good run, I just wanted to talk about how this is related to your, your kids staying at home and uh, science and the stuff they learn in school. Some people mention Newton's laws, F equals MA. Inertia, we have uh, forces and strings, tension, gravity, and also energy. I used to do this lesson as a uh, energy project with my students in physics, so ninth through 12th grade. They would set up a Rube Goldberg machine. They would do energy calculations based on height, uh, string tension, work, and it was a great way for me to test and engage my students in the classroom. So let, let's finish up here and uh, let's see if it works. All right, Robert. You ready to launch it? You could either hit it or shoot it with your gun, whichever one you want. I think we're ready to go. Let's see if this is gonna work. Fingers crossed, everybody. Oh, the car got stuck. The pencil in the other car got stuck. Two bit circus. All right, so as you can see, for the most part, it works. There is just a little issues in there that we can work out, and then we'll try to get a video recording of it, and we'll post it to social media. Two-bit circus? Two-bit circus. So please visit our website. During these tough times, we have a lot of free resources on there, uh, projects like this that you can do at home. We would also love for you to take the opportunity. They're in a Twitch channel, but please share pictures and videos of your projects to our social media. So thank you for today. Please come back at 10 a.m. tomorrow. We are gonna have another great project. Another great project from uh, one of our presenters, uh, the amazing Dejana. Thank you everybody for your time and have a good day. It, it, it doesn't want me to leave. <laughs>